Hello, and welcome to Subnautica, below zero. Well, the plan for the day is I want to go in search of magnetite, because I want to make some nuclear rods, because we've now got a nuclear reactor in this base. I just don't have a, the nuclear rods to go with it, so there's obviously no power, which makes it kind of pointless, really. But I forgot about this, um, this little station here. I really need to get this finished up as well. So, somewhere in here is the blue bit. Actually, it's telling me on here. Three titanium, copper chip, and a wire. So, I need to go and get some bits and pieces for that, but I can see it's starting to get dark. I mean, it's not too bad for me. I can see, you know, reasonably okay, but the video playback comes up. It comes out a lot, lot darker. The one thing I forgot about is actually, if I come over to the control centre here, it actually tells me what time it is, so I'll, I'll be able to time you know, going to sleep a lot better if I pay attention to what time of the day it is. Because the last time I was going to sleep, I was I think I was waking up around uh, lunchtime, which is nuts. It's like to waste the most of the day. Right, so now that we're back up, I want to go and get the bits and pieces for that. So, let's see. So that is the... I think that's the vehicle bay or something. Yeah, the vehicle upgrade console, so I need to get the bits and pieces for that, so I might have I might have enough copper already to get the wire. I mean I've got one there, but I'm keeping that to one side for the, the water filtration unit that I ultimately want to build. Uh, so that's that. So I need three titanium, so we've got three titanium. Now I need a CPU, so I, I haven't got enough coral, have I? I've got one coral. Right, what do we need for our CPU again? So we need coral, gold, and something else. Oh, right, another copper wire. Ooh, well, right, I'll need another copper wire then. Right, so that'll get this one for that. I think I've got one more gold left. Right, that's the last of my gold. So I need some, I need some table coral. I can stop running into that. And then we'll be able to get that built. So, table coral, where are you? Table coral, right, there should be some outside the door. I mean, the, the actual sea glide that I've got is actually fully charged. I think I'm going to take advantage of these fins to get these uh, tools powered back up again. Because as long as I'm swinging around with these yeah, you know, swim charge fins. As long as I'm swimming around with those, anything that I've got in my hand gets the battery recharged. The only drawback is it means we're going extremely slowly. I may as well really just swap the batteries out at the actual base, to be honest, it's like a lot of uh, less hassle. Right, so there's one there. Oh, right. Let's head back. So that gets me enough to make that. So then we'll be able to get our vehicle upgrade station done, or console, or whatever it's called. But then what I want to do is I want to head over to. I think it's around so many of the purple Welcome vents. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. We'll go over there because that's where we should be able to find magnet types. I mean, I can search for it with the scanner that we've got over at the. Uh, the actual lily pads, I can find it there. Actually, where, where the heck am I going? I don't know why I need to go in here, don't I? Right, so I've got enough bits and pieces to make that. Right, so I may as well take that off the list of things to do, because we're done with that. We'll turn the scanner off and then we'll jump into our sea truck. I'll go and search of magnetite. So if I spot any along the way, that'll be good otherwise. I'm pretty sure I was picking some up with the uh, the scanner that we've got over near Omega Base. Right, I may as well grab my little aquarium module while I'm at it. Yeah. That was handy. Right, so somewhere out there. There's a scanner over there, right?
grab a... Oh, I've got a torch. No, I don't, in which case I'll use a, a map from here. Oh, it's true, but knowing that, that would save me a lot of hassle. <laughs> Smell of salvage. Okay, so I've got a blueprint for it. Ooh, copper wire. That's cool. Now, this is the one downside of being in here, is I'm, I'm going to get easily lost, I think. I mean, I've got an extra tank on me. A spare, just in case. Ah, right, okay, so if we scan that, what does it tell me? Scattered wreckage, so it doesn't tell me much. So as far as I recall, I, I should be able to break, I mean, going by what Subnautica did, you can break that one down in the titanium ingots. So there's nothing over here, it seems. Let's get that a little torch in, uh, out again. Hello, what's that? A sealed door. Oh, I've already got my that's the repair tool. I have to keep my eye on the, on the old two, otherwise I'm going to be in deep duty here because we're on hardcore mode. Actually, speaking of hardcore, yes, I have got oxygen in that tank. Right, let's see if we find anything useful in here. Otherwise, I think I'll probably just go back to the the scanner over in here, all the base and see what I can find with a scanner. Ooh! Ah! So that's a fragment! Ah, right. Which kit? Uh, so you're a spine fish. So it looks like we're gonna we'll have to find three of these things. Seriously? Stop swimming away, man. I'm trying to scan you. So I need to find three... Oh, I'm going to easily get lost in here. Tell you what. Let's see if we have a bit of a play with that while we're at it. This might make it easier to find things. At least find our way out. Oh, there's one over there, actually. <laughs> no, 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 no. I want the scanner. Right, tell you what. See if I can find... Try and find my way out actually. So I can find my way out, then I can find my way back in again. <laughs> because I haven't a clue where I am. Ah, oh, strew. This is not good when you can't find your way out. So we need one so so it looks like we need three fragments. That'll then give us the blueprint for this parallel processing unit. Then we'll be able to make one. Hopefully, though, it doesn't need, like, resources that I don't know how to make. Ah, so that was the one that we found on the way in. Right, okay. Well, I'm at it, then. May as well grab some more, too. Right, so we've got all our oxygen back. So what I can do... pointing anywhere, unless that's the first node. So if we head in this direction, because we've already been down there somewhere. Yeah, so that's pointing back to the first node. In which case, if I pop another one out here, I'll then point to the f that'll point back to the second node. Definitely useful, that. There's nothing up there. There's a copper fire. So we've already got that one. Ah, now there's a, a locked door over there, so I wonder if it's in there. 
definitely useful, those little nodes I must have there. Yeah, it's a Pathfinder tool, so that's definitely, definitely useful. Oh wow, this takes forever on a day. So we'll grab some oxygen. Oh, there's a PDA there. Oh wow, I didn't notice that before. tracks. There's a, there's a PDA down there for something. Uh, I can only do repairs in spurts. That's so inefficient. The larger tools seem to set off seismic activity nearby. A crew came back telling stories of gigantic worms burrowing in the ice. I don't know what they were going on about. They were hypothermic and frostbitten because they walked back to avoid angering them. The ice shelf is probably a bit unstable and they got disoriented or something. To borrow from Diana. Orion's belt, thermal couplings, are not meant to be worked on in 20 minute spurts. If we break the process, we'll break the ship. <sighs> but it's nice to hang out with Yasmin while we wait for the rumbles to stop. I hope she doesn't mind all my questions. I love hearing her voice. Her face lights up and she's got the most expressive eyebrows. They're practically acrobats. The way she looks when talking about nuclear engineering is the same way I look at my grandmother's domades. The woman never sits down, though. She told me that she used to do decathlon in college, and I can believe it. She's like a bouncy ball, just all over the place. She makes rounds on the ship every day to see if people need help. Hmm. I should do something nice for her. She's always helping everyone else. I wish I had a fraction of her energy. <laughs> I'm starting to panic there because I got stuck. I'm thinking, no, oh, I'll not be able to get out and that's it at the end of the game. Right, so, get some more two. So we obviously overlapped across back on our side, so, wherever that was, I don't like it. Can we head up here? Ah. Ah, so there's a locked door in there. Oh, we can. No. Ah, Fubar. Whatever's there, I can't... So it looks like it's going to be an event joke. So we need to find a event. The gold event, by the looks of it. Hmm. I'm sure I saw one somewhere. takes us back out of the wreck. Oops, more copper wire. Wow, get a lot of copper wire from this place. Right, so we've been there. We come up to here. Ah, there it is, there. Right, so, I'm going to grab some more too. Very easy to get disoriented without finding these. I can easily get turned around where I've, I've no idea what direction I'm heading in. It's barely using any power on this, which is quite good, almost have it. Yeah, this doesn't seem so complicated, this one, I must admit, because some of the ones I find that have, like, multiple turns and you just get completely lost. Or at least I do anyway. Right, so that's... Yeah, it looks like the one we actually was looking at through the door there. I finished the reactor checks. We dumped a ton of runoff and we don't need the rods melting down. Then, I helped with the scavenging, chopped some veggies with the cooks, and tried to help Diana, but she sent me down to engineering with Stephanos. I've been working with him the last few days. Stephanos... How to describe Stephanos? He's by far the most thorough engineer I've worked with, and no ego. He never leaves a job undone, no matter how late it is. 
I've never seen him awake before 11, and he always greets me by saying, Kalimera, Yasmin, in the sleepiest role. Not a morning person, that one. <laughs> he listens with the slightest smile on his face and twirls this stray curl by his ear. He asks a billion questions, but I don't mind. He surprised me today. There's an empty room on the bridge, just a spot of negative space in the ship. He set the picnic there and said, I need to relax. He even called me a busybody. There were these crazy glowing fungus things he found to set the ambiance. The most exciting part though, drum roll, he can jailbreak fabricators. He made a small batch of traditional Grecian dishes, but the craziest part? He managed to make a suitable falafel for me. I never thought I'd see a good falafel in deep space. Alhamdulillah. A quiet genius, that one. This planet may be a cold mistress, but maybe it isn't so bad. Right, I'm seriously getting lost here. I mean, it's not too bad to find my way out. The problem's trying to find me. Find this. I just need one processing you. I mean, I must admit, I've been. I'm making an assumption that there is three in here. But, yeah, well, I was thinking that was a, like a door I could have broken open, but it doesn't look as though I can. Um, like I say, I'm just, I'm just assuming that there's enough of these fragments here. But I'm not so sure. May well be we have to go over to the other wreck. Or I've just missed somewhere obvious. Let's go back and grab some more too. Ah, getting stuck again. Yeah, I was getting I kept getting stuck on that little edge there. What the heck was that? I hope it's one of those volcano things or these guys or whatever it is. Because it's the way it sounded. Pretty brutal. Something to eat and something to drink. Right, I'll do another sweep in here just to see. Otherwise, I might have to go to the other wreck. I mean, I'm supposed to be looking for the magnet tank, to be honest. But why not? While we're here. So that's blocked off. It's not a door that I can open. Neither's that one. So there must be a way to reach that room back there. I and mean, I'm not seeing a vent or anything. I'm just trying to see if there's a maybe a way in or something. It may well just be blocked off, to be honest. Ah, hang on a minute. That looked as though, because I saw... That looked as though there might be something there. Yeah, you can see there's, there's something there, but I don't know if I can get out of the blanket underneath. Processing unit. Right, well, that was useful. Definitely useful. Ah, I'm out of. I haven't got anything left to store. But no room to store. Well, technically, I don't need it. It's just a blueprint that we're looking for. Let's see, so basically anywhere where we haven't been, 
won't have any of these little, uh, little nodes that we've got. You know, we're drop I'm dropping nodes all over the place at this rate. Just so I know where I've been and how to get them back. Alright, so in here... Is that a locked door? It is, but you can't open it. Hmm. Now we've been there because that's where we got one of the processing units from. So have we been? Yep, we've been up there. We've been down there. So we've got one of the units from the there, or at least the fragments. Yeah, I have a, I have a feeling we're going to have to head to the other wreck. I mean, I'm not seeing... How did I get over to that one over there? Probably by going down, I suppose. Give up. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to head for the. Uh, oh, I'm not gonna go that way this time. I think I'm gonna have to find the other wreck. There's a. There is another one. If I head back to the scanner, there's another wreck way over there somewhere. Hmm. Okay. Maybe. Maybe there's just not enough in you know, these fragments in a specific place. So that's only based there. So that is fire robotics. So somewhere out there now. Last time I was over here, I didn't find some magnetite. Oops. Oops. It was down here somewhere. Because I remember seeing some. Direction. And there was 
was someone found over there, which I'm assuming is where that wreck was. So there's a lot of the fragments it's picking up, I just, um, like aquarium modules. It's a bit of a pain because I really like the, the way that Subnautica cleared them out. So like if you didn't, if you'd already got the, the entire blueprint, there was no point showing you where there were with the fragments of that same blueprint. It's a lot more efficient, but for some reason I haven't done that. For some reason I just haven't done that with uh, <laughs> that, that, that squid shark was done with now. For some reason I haven't done that with uh, Subnautica 1.0. Oh, Oh, it's a laser cutter one. <laughs> Just picked up a laser cutter. Then. There. Enough. Nah, I'm not seeing any sign of this. This is the parallel processing unit. Then. I've got all the fragments of the prawns. <laughs> right, so it looks like there's, there's some fragment on. Aha! More prawn suit fragments. At least it seemed there was. Seriously? It's a fragment somewhere, but it's not. What the heck? Is that a green turnian? Fair enough. What oh, power cell? Oh wow! Prawn suit drill fragment. Yeah. Oh, it's one of two. Oh, I thought we already had that. Yeah. Fair enough. I swear I already had that one. Oh, so maybe we've got to cut into. So I wonder if this is another nuclear reactor. Yeah, we have to This rate, I might end up with uh, enough rods without I'm actually going search of any magnet. Right, let's get back inside. 
So this is quite handy, I suppose, in some respects, having that scanner, but on the other hand, it's been a bit of a pain, because I'm... There's so many things showing up. It's getting a bit difficult. I don't know why those ones don't disappear, but... For some strange reason, I just can't scan this prawn suit. That's what that's that's what these are for. These ones, they're the prawn suit, but it's not letting me scan it again. It's a bit weird. Right, let's pop our little uh, nodes so I know where on earth I've been and where I'm going. Right, so we want to head up to. through here. So there's two frag well there's possibly another three fragments in here then. Hmm. So I, wonder, I wonder if they've got it so that you've got to go to four. We got it, we got it. Woohoo! So that gets us three. Orion's built this old. Now I just need to build the test override module. Then I can disable that satellite tower. Okay, but I wanted to listen to Diana actually. Orion's felt this all went sideways. How could I have known that so much would go wrong? I failed my crew. No. I don't fail. I didn't get into this position by being a failure. It's this desolate land, frigid and cursed. Between these tunneling creatures and the strange sickness that a few of the crew are showing symptoms of, we have to leave at first light tomorrow. We are prepping for a rapid takeoff. We can't take chances with the vibrations drawing the tunnelers, so we're skipping the systems check. Risky. But I have faith in myself and the crew of the Mercury. Landing this thing was practically a miracle, though. But we have to get out of here. Maybe the weapon is to keep people away. But if we leave, it'll let us go. I have to leave the quarantined crew in the cave behind. We will be back for them. But we can't risk an unknown infection spreading through the Mercury. We're packing survival kits for them. There's only enough surplus for about two weeks. I'm telling them that we will come back. But I don't think I can land here safely. Twice. I hate this. But I have to leave them behind. I can't risk the entirety of the Mercury. Oh, okay. So it's like we got shut down as well. Which makes sense really, I mean everything everything that comes out on this planet does get shut down at some point. I've realised I haven't been popping these little nodes out so I'm, I'm completely lost now.
takes up that takes up just as much. That that'll be equivalent of four titanium. How many fish have we got? Well, we've got quite a few actually. Oh, they're all full. Ah, oh, no, we've caught the. We've actually got the spine fish. You, you don't get that much out of spine fish, which is not surprising, really, considering they're mostly just spine. Ooh, we've got a red feather fish. That looks exciting. Right, so one parallel processing unit, and then one test override module. Right, so I'll take those off the list of to do. Right, so I need more glass. I need at least I need at least two of these. Oh, I'm trying. You need. I need one. <laughs> It's just the glass that we need. Oh, it's oh yeah, it's one, it's one per one per rod. That's all right. Oh, so I've got all of those. So I need two lead, and then what I can then do is I can grab the uh, the bits and pieces to then make the the organ type is the silver, so it's the galena outcroppings I need. coming up. Pop them into the nuclear reactor. So, now that's interesting. So we're at 2800 power already. And yet we're not going any higher even though we've got more rods in. Unless, that's, unless there's some sort of like battery pack system going on here. That's possibly what it is. So it's just storing a load of energy and it can build up a storage of a maximum to 800. Anywho. Right, that gets us our water filtration unit in here. Woohoo! 
well. Oh, that's all right. Right, so I need some more food. May as well grab some of these, and then I can at least get some water as well. So now it's just a case of waiting for this lot to finish. That's that's it. Some pieces on my to do list are done. Right, let's see. So, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I can do around here. Because we've got. I don't think I've got any more modules. I could do with some more modules for the sea truck. Oh, we can build. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, we can build the prawn suit now. Oh, cool. But I think the real thing next is to go and talk to Marguerite. Uh, find out more about what happened to Sam because she seems to know something. She's down way, way down there now. So, yeah, if I can go and have a chat with her, hopefully she can tell us more about what happened to Sam because she, I know she was over at Sam's, uh, Sam was over at her base at some point because there was a, I noticed there was a, um, one of those spy penglings there. And Marguerite did seem to suggest that if we disable this tracking station. She would be able to tell us more about what happened to Sam. So yes, we need to go over there next. That's all for another episode.